going to be honest on this video, since becoming a flight attendant, I haven't always enjoyed coming home. I have two reasons for this. The first being that I am still fighting hustle culture. When I take the time to come home on my off days, I feel as if I'm missing out on money to be made by not picking up additional trips. And I've always been this way. At every single job I've ever worked, I've told my managers to schedule me seven days a week if that was even possible. A slave to the dollar. And even now with this job, I find myself upset if I don't meet the minimum number of hours flown that I plan to reach at the beginning of the month, even if I'm still well past overtime pay. It just feels like the less money I make, the farther away I am from reaching the things a God has already confirmed our minds in the spirit. Another reason why I don't always enjoy coming home is because it reminds me of the person I used to be. I've done so much internal work within the past six months, minus the hustle culture of course, that being back in this environment can sometimes reopen the door for that little me. The little me that didn't know who she was. The little me that was introverted and soft-spoken because she thought her words didn't matter. The little me who lived in fear. Even when I'm away from home, I don't enjoy staying in one place for too long because I've been programmed to think that I must constantly be moving around in order to keep progressing, both mentally and spiritually. But Psalms chapter 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. You want to know what I love about God? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And no matter how much money I make, it doesn't matter if I'm on the East Coast, West Coast, or back home in Houston. God lives on the inside of me wherever I go. This message today is for somebody that has been struggling with being a slave to the clock, or for someone that has been so focused on progressing and reaching their personal goals that they can't fully appreciate how far they've already come. Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 says, The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. We actually do ourselves a disadvantage when we think the works of our flesh solely can achieve everything it is we desire in this world. God wants us, as his children, to be still and put our full trust in him. We must seek first the kingdom of God before any works can come into fruition. God is our powerhouse. We were not created to rely on our own earthly strengths. Allow yourself to be still, fall in love with the journey, and acknowledge how far you've already come. In the Bible, God created for six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. Starting today, I want everybody listening to this video to begin to start practicing stillness. Find time to sit in complete silence. During this silence, just thank God for where you are in life. And even if you feel you don't have much to be thankful for in this season, thank God you have air in your lungs. Take a trip to the park and just take in your surroundings or take the day off and spend it doing something you love to do. Be still and know that God is your stronghold. He doesn't want you to be running around doing 500 things at once to reach your next level. He wants you to instead find peace and joy in knowing that he is taking care of those things for you. Stop worrying about tomorrow and what the future holds because he will ask you, didn't you see what I got you out of in the past? Do you not remember when I did X, Y, and Z for you? So why are you worried this time around? Be still and put complete trust in the fact that I have already planned out your life from start to finish. Find peace in the stillness of your day and know that I will never leave you nor forsake you. I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. That's what I heard the Lord say to me in the spirit, so I just wanted to help somebody today that may be struggling with the same issues. Learn to live in the present moment and be grateful for what God has already done in your life. I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all on Sunday.